Customizing the default 2011 WordPress theme. How to add text and links to your footer. Now, let's take a look at the footer in its current state, the default settings. And let's go ahead and take a look at the footer after we add this little bit of code. You can add this entire new line down here. Yeah, I know there's plugins for it, but why add extra load to your site with additional plugins if you don't really need them? When you can hard code it right into your child theme, for example, and no matter how many updates your WordPress takes on in the future, this will remain intact as long as you keep your child theme intact. But these are clickable links here, and I've also added some playful text there. So let's take a look at how we can do this. This is not going to be something that we're going to edit our style.css. We're actually going to be adding a footer.php file to our child theme. Now, if you don't have a child theme, shame on you, but you can still do the same thing I'm going to show you here in the parent themes footer.php. Now, what I did was I added the footer.php to the child theme folder on my desktop where I do all my tinkering around at, and I simply got it from the parent theme. Just navigated up one level to my 2011 parent theme, came on down here to the footer.php, and downloaded it onto my computer. Then I opened up, let me get this guy out of here, then I opened that file up into my Notepad++ text editor. Whenever you have a file in your child theme with the same name of the file that's in your parent theme, the browsers will look at the child theme files primarily and basically disregard the same name file that's in the parent theme with the exception of the functions.php but I'm getting a little bit off off course here now what I did was I right here on line 52 that's where it says powered by WordPress and right about in here probably powered by and then after the word by it's where I added my playful text. Now, of course, you don't have to do this. I was just a little, like I said, playful. But if you do, be sure to keep the percentage sign and the S intact. So what I did was I just added the mutant hamsters, a treadmill, and, and a space, and then that's it. The rest of this, I just basically added this to the existing text. Now, the clickable links below that is just this plain HTML coding where I've got a little pipe symbol here, and you can do this however you want. Again, it's just totally optional, but I got the ahref tag with the URL, and in this example, I've got a clickable link to the text earnings disclaimer. So if I've got a page on my site somewhere that is the disclaimer for earnings or support or a contact us or a privacy policy, terms of service, whatever, then you can just add that HTML right below that one line on 52 that has the powered by line. Now to make this not all run together, I also added this breaker right here. That's the opening and closing brackets, and in between there I've got the BR space and then the forward slash. That's what brings this down to the second line. Otherwise, this would be running right alongside this one here and all be on one line. So that's how you can add text and clickable links to your footer.